Hi, my name is Emmy from Tablespoon, and you're watching Holiday Hacks. Christmas is almost here, and if you haven't done any holiday baking yet, don't worry. I have a super easy five ingredient recipe that you can make on the fly to satisfy your itch to bake without having to put in all the effort. Today we'll be making a saltine toffee candy. You've probably heard it referred to as Christmas crack. It's amazingly good and it is going to be the biggest hurdle in portion control that you've ever had to deal with. It's made with five ingredients. We're gonna be using brown sugar, saltine crackers obviously, butter, chocolate, and then pecans on top. If you want, you can switch it up, do walnuts, leave them off, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna start off with a cookie tray that has been lined with aluminum foil and sprayed down with cooking spray. Then we'll take our saltines and lay them out flat over the pan. And if you have a little extra space at the end of your pan, don't waste it. You can break up some smaller crackers, fill in those gaps. Then into a saucepan, we're gonna put a cup of butter and a cup of brown sugar. That's gonna melt together to create a caramel sauce. We're gonna wait until it boils, and then we're gonna boil it for three minutes so it'll get nice and golden and thick. Our caramel sauce is nice and gooey. Now we're just gonna pour it over our saltine crackers. Make sure you spread it out because you don't want any cracker to feel left out. Now we're gonna pop it in the oven. My oven is set for 400 degrees. We're gonna do it for about five or six minutes just to get the caramel to meld with the saltine crackers and get nice and bubbly. Ooh. With the pan out of the oven and the caramel still hot, go ahead and pour the chocolate chips over top. The heat from the pan should be enough to melt the chocolate. Wait a moment for it to melt and then spread it smoothly covering the entire pan. While the chocolate is still warm, sprinkle with chopped nuts. Now comes the hardest part. We have to wait for it to cool for a full hour, but then it'll be ready to eat. And that's it for this five ingredient recipe. We have plenty more five, four, three, and two ingredient recipes on tablespoon.com. Head over to our website or click the link in the bio. Thanks guys, happy holidays.